Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good weekend. Checking in on the market. We had the bulls show up on Friday buying the dip after three big red days in a row. And certainly not surprising as hourly RSIs were oversold and we're not looking for a straight dump down. And this doesn't mean that our higher low has been set on the weekly time frame. It does mean that our lower high has been set, which we'll look at in just a moment. That's up at 278.92. From here, we could see a little bounce and then continuation down. So going to be watching very close to see how the next week plays out because we could end up with a nice daily equilibrium pattern as well. If the bulls see some little follow through, on Monday or Tuesday, and we head back up here into this range, we'll then have a low to be watching and a high to be watching and a daily equilibrium pattern inside the weekly equilibrium pattern. So the all-time high, the low of the dump, our lower high at 278.92, and we're going to be looking for a higher low to form. Again, we're not confident that our higher low has been set because it's just one green day here. And if we do get a daily equilibrium pattern, that will make things more clear because a daily equilibrium pattern breaking will give us clarity and increase the odds of that direction breaking on the weekly time frame as well. So again, it's looking a little bit far in advance. We're taking it one day at a time and watching to see can the bulls follow through on Monday and confirm this bullish reversal candlestick trying to make their way up to the next resistances. First one is 269.72 and then we got 273.17 as the resistance after that. So checking in on the Dow. Also a bullish reversal candlestick. We did drop down a little bit further and we are going to be anticipating lower highs to form on this bounce attempt because the markets have lost the daily higher low pattern coming off of the low. And so that's again, another reason why the equilibrium pattern on the weekly time frame is more likely than not. So resistance here on the daily time frame heading into next week, 24,592. And then we're watching 25,185. Again, weekly equilibrium. Look at the middle Bollinger Band. We did close just below it a couple times, but really right on this level. And that's going to be an important level to watch as well. Just for some more information, if the bulls can hold it, that will show some decent strength. But as of right now, we are looking at the potential for a higher low to form. We're not confident that that higher low has been set just yet. And we're expecting it to form compared to 2,000 or make that 23,360. So very similar setup in the markets, the SPY bulls a little bit stronger with the more bullish candlestick making back half of the loss from Thursday's candlestick. And you see the Dow didn't make back nearly that much as we only made back about maybe 20% of the red day that we saw on Thursday. IWM, the most bullish name on Friday, you can see we made back all of that weakness from Thursday. We didn't even break the low of Thursday and we closed strong here as well. So resistance is 152.75 and 155.88. And we're going to be watching for the potential of IWM to be a little bit of a leader here in the markets just because it was the first one to break the daily higher low pattern. The other markets then followed suit. And if we do see a more significant bounce, we'll look to see if the other names are going to follow suit that direction as well. So IWM on the weekly, this looks more convincing that that is potentially our higher low on the weekly time frame. So things are getting tighter and tighter very quickly. I was anticipating this pattern to play out into the end of March. And the way that the speed is going here, I anticipate it now to only play out another couple of weeks at most. We'll have to keep watching, but all time high, low the pullback, lower high. And this is potentially our higher low down at 148.38. So it all depends on how the price reacts on Monday. Do we see continuation? Do we confirm? And actually it was a bullish reversal doji on Thursday and we did confirm it on Friday. So uh, the bulls showed up a bit earlier than they did in the Dow and the S&P 500, just like the bears showed up a bit earlier. So I am going to be watching IWM as a potential little canary in the coal mine in terms of which direction to be looking in the other two markets as that has been working out the past couple of days. Checking in on the VIX. So VIX did break the downtrend for the bulls, but we pulled back and closed very weak at the low of the day on Friday. So the bulls have to form a higher low here compared to 1529 to try and change the trend. So we go from lower highs and lower lows. We break the lower highs. Now we need a higher low and a higher high 
to see a significant trend change. Resistance is up at 26.22, tons of volatility and trading opportunity in VIX still. And of course, UVXY is magnifying that volatility. But with the close at the low of the day, we are looking for some bearish continuation on Monday. And the question is going to be, can we hold that higher low and hold 1529 support? So that's where we stand with the weekly time frame, big upper wick of profit taking, and not the strong close the bulls were looking for here to end the week. Question is, can the bulls follow through and see a green day on Monday? If they cannot, the odds that our weekly higher low has been set are not likely. And if they can see some follow through, that will increase the odds that our weekly higher low has been set and the range on the weekly time frame will continue to tighten. So we should get a lot more clarity in these markets sometime in mid-March or so once we do break this tightening range on this dump and bounce recovery. And that's going to give us a lot of clarity as we head into the end of March and into April. So really looking forward to that. And if you're a swing trader, you know, day traders are locking in their profit in both directions with lots of trading opportunity. If you're a swing trader, when we break this weekly tightening pattern, it will be a lot more clear and a lot easier to look, you know, a few weeks out and anticipate that direction, which is going to be in the direction the break does occur. So I appreciate you watching. Have a good rest of your weekend, and we'll see if those bulls show up on Monday.